And now it's time for Bolt acting like she knows how to drink beer and evaluate it like a proper critic beer person. What's up, buds? It's your bud, Bolt. Today we're going to be drinking Wayne Gretzky's beer. Now, I just got this. Um, I have never seen this before. I just was at the beer store and I saw it sitting with all the singles and I, I knew I had to pick it up and try it. I've had his wine. It was pretty good. Um, so yeah, most channels would probably give you all of the data, the history, read the back of the can for you at this point. I'm jumping right in the taste test because it's what I want to do and it's probably what I would want to watch if I were watching this or had clicked on this. So we're going to jump right into the taste test. All right, so no taste test will be complete without a first pour. So we're gonna show you how much head we get off this beer. So it's a really nice honey. Oh, that's gonna overflow. Oh. You get a little bit of um, taste off that, it's very, very clean, but it's kind of hoppy. I'm not a huge fan of hoppy. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. But, I mean, it is a, a rye lager. So, that tips you off to that. So, it's about the same color as a Canadian. And that head is finally started to die. I poured this about five minutes ago. You saw the first pour. I mean, in your world, it's probably like a second ago. So, I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of it. That's a good looking beer. It's got a really nice thick head to it. Nice and clear. All right, so the foam died down because I don't like a lot of head, just a little head. So we're gonna go ahead and taste. Hmm, I've had beer that was rye based lager. And uh, yeah. This tastes different. Now, I've never tasted something like this before. Um, it is hoppy, but not too hoppy. Like, it's the perfect... Normally, I don't like hops at all. Normally, I like very, very malty beers. But that's got, like, a really... A nice bite of hops. But it's smoothed out by a good deal of malt. Now, I don't know beer. I don't know what I'm talking about. But it's just what it tastes like to me. Like, it tastes... Kind of like the bitter, like, back of the throat <sighs> that an IPA has when I drink it. And it's like, it almost gets to the back of the throat, <sighs> but it's like a mid-throat. <clears throat> and I do definitely get the, like, the feel of the lager. Like, just like a regular lager. Like, a, something like a, um, I mean, Canadian or something like that. But it's better. Definitely a sipper for me. This is not something that I'd want to be pounding back. Um, but, you know, I have a really good feeling I would really like this with, like, a pizza or a pasta. Like, something with a lot of basil. Yeah, definitely. Not one for the room. I don't, I don't think I could sit, sit in the room after the game and, uh, and sip on one of these because it'd be, it'd be a sip. I'd be here for a good hour, which makes it a great dinner beer, I think. So, like... I would definitely, like, if a restaurant had this on tap, um, and, like, I'm watching the game over food, uh, 100%. This would be, I'd, I'd 100% go for this beer. It's, like, it's too classy to be, like, a Canadian, and there's a lot of craft there, but, yeah, I'm not, it's not, it's not... I wouldn't say it's, it's very, very drinkable. I would say it's very good. It's very tasty. There's another beer like this that's for me, and it's it's um, the Lion's Den uh, Winter Ale from Granville Island, and that's like a one drinker, but I drink that over dessert, which means that if I had this, like with a dinner, <laughs> and then afterwards doing a Granville Island Winter's Ale with dessert, because that beer has a lot of like really chocolatey, um, rich notes, which is why that's the only reason I can drink one of those is that it's just very rich. 
but this guy is refreshing enough that I would I would drink it with a main course. Um, it doesn't taste super heavy. Um, it feels really carbonated, as you can tell by my burps. Um, yeah, it feels like there's a lot of carbonation, which explain all, all that head. Um, if they're still early in production, I have no idea when this came out, but if they're still early in the production, they might be trying to toy with their equipment or get it just right, or um, they're adjusting the levels in the recipe, but that's a lot of carbonation for my liking. Um, I'd still sit here and sip it. I'd just probably burp through the whole game. It says on the can here, a great beer from the great one. <laughs> Canadian rye grain adds an extra layer of depth. Yes, zest, absolutely, and freshness, yes, to the smooth malt, of course, and light hops flavor of a classic lager. Uh, every can proudly support, supports the Wayne Gretzky Foundation. And this is made in Niagara-on-the-Lake. So not far from here at all. So this, if this was 300, colors, if this was 300 kilometers closer, we'd call it a local craft beer. Uh, is it a craft beer? Like, it actually doesn't say what company makes it. I'm guessing Wayne Gretzky has his own company and this isn't like a sponsorship or like a partnership with like Molson Canadian or something. I'll have to look that up. I really wish I had some pizza right now. That would literally go great with this. And now... It's time for Bolt acting like she knows how to drink beer and evaluate it like a proper critic beer person. So, no, we don't start with the drink. This is my problem. I just want to drink. It smells like beer. Maybe if I put my, my snooter right in there. Let's see. It smells like wine when I put my, my nose right near it. That's odd. Like a, it smells like champagne almost. I know I'm supposed to be getting like earth notes and citrus, but I'm getting <laughs> beer and champagne. Yeah, that's it. All right. Swoosh. teeth film I think it tastes a lot more like a Coors Light on the swoosh I'm not ever swooshing beer again I feel like it was a very bad idea um that wasn't good so I'm taking another sip <sighs> high class logic right there oh yeah now after the swoosh I don't know if I can drink this now. Oh, bad decisions for the sake of comedy. I mean, I really like the can. It's like, I don't know if you can tell that that's ice. Like, it's it's what happens when you're playing net and you got a buddy in warm-ups who decides that uh, they're going to start your game off in the worst way. <laughs> that's what it looks like. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be down in a butterfly as a goalie and have somebody snow the front of you, it is like this in 3D coming at you, um, and then it just tastes really salty, like really salty. It could be sweat, um, could be spit, I don't know, but ice from rinks tastes salt. It could be because it's mixing with my sweat. Ice to the face, drips down, yeah, um, and you breathe, <laughs> it's not a fun time, so if you could prevent it, if you're playing any kind of rec league, don't, don't snow the goalie, because it's, it's not a good time at all. Yeah, like, it's it's good. It's definitely, like, a good conversation beer. So, like, if you want to sit down, um, you've, you know, you are you don't want to have more than one that night. I got a lot of nights like that. You can sit down with a buddy or with your team at the bar who all want to chat, and you're going to be there for, like, a couple hours. Um, maybe get a pizza. <laughs> but... Yeah, this this is great for that. This this is definitely that kind of beer. Um, and I do like it. I mean, I picked it up again after the swoosh. <laughs> 